Um, let's stay with our uh, toy theme from a little bit earlier here as I was going through the uh, lineup here. Uh, Katie, uh, wh- what, what else is Barbie up to this time? She wants a chilla house. Oh. <laughs> She's got a smart house coming. Uh, she It's another thing at the toy fair that's coming up. Uh, it's a smart home that connects to the internet and a companion app. Uh, you can it'll accept voice commands, uh, including turning lights on and off and activating party mode. <laughs> party mode changed the staircase into a slide because why waste your time on stairs when you could slide down? And um, also, this is the other fun thing: the sixty dollars Starlight Adventure RC hoverboard is a tiny remote controlled drone that will have the doll flying through your living room with ease in an outfit appropriate for said activity. What? So. <laughs> Sounds like Barbie's getting a drone and a smart house. She's so much cooler than we are. The the smart house so. weighs in at three hundred dollars. Yes, the same price as the three D printer that we talked about before. We talked about Hello Barbie in the past because uh, you know it was it was you know that interactive version of Barbie using the app and everything, which they're obviously expanding a little bit here. But man, Chilla, Chilla. First of all, I think the most important question out of the story has to be: Does the Chilla house have a party mode? It does not have a party mode, but he, and here's the one thing is, you know what? Ever since the the different hacks that have been going on around Leapfrog and all those different manufacturers, I'm not sure at this point in time I trust these toys, and I don't care if they're from someone as big as Mattel or from a small no name. If they're starting to connect to the internet. Unless your name's Google, Apple, or Microsoft, I'm not necessarily sure I want it in my house at this point in time. And even with those manufacturers, I sometimes question even some of the things I have around the house. You know what? And and it's funny because I just pulled up an article from four hours ago on Silicone Angle, whatever this is, and it's like, is Barbie's smart home spying on your kids? <laughs> Launch revised yeah. privacy concerns. And that's that's one of the things that that I don't think companies like Mattel mm-hmm. have ever had to worry about internet security. <laughs> and I I think it it definitely there there I think there needs to be an additional regulation if you're selling an internet connected toy to a kid. There should be some kind of additional scrutiny, almost like the and I and I, I, I know I'm probably going to make people roll their eyes and pound their fists, but almost like they have to rate video games. Like, should there be an extra parental control that says, hey, this thing's going to connect to the Internet and broadcast and, and report back? Like a, like an internet safety, uh, general internet safety guideline. Like like mm-hmm. like maybe to the point where uh, uh, your kid shouldn't play the Sesame Street online Xbox Live game because who knows on the other end. So there's like a risk level, like or maybe a in a internet supervision level or something like that, right? Right. So or make sure you turn this off when it's not in use. Yeah. Interesting. Well, it, I'm trying to remember. Do you remember on the Simpsons Funzo? It was uh, this like toy that was a compilation of all these different things, and it was something I can't remember what part of it, but something that listened to you and sent information back to the company. I want to say it was the Funzo doll. <laughs> I believe it, and I think even Samsung's recently said, you know, if you own one of our internet connected TVs that has a mic, it it is always listening and it is reporting back to third parties. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I remember seeing that, and I remember thinking, I'm not getting a Samsung TV. <laughs> nope. Yeah, again, I, I trust Amazon. Well, I trust Amazon to a certain extent. I trust the Google device to a certain, my Apple thing to a certain extent. I don't trust Samsung. There's nothing that gives me trustworthiness in, in, in them, uh, let alone their television division to be secure and have a microphone in my house. Um, I, and I now know. you're going to put it in every kid's toy, which makes me even right. more right. nervous. Right. Interesting. I, it's something that's going to be worked out here.